Welcome to Slingshot 25 Shotcast, a series of bite-sized podcasts that will feel like an espresso shot to your brain. I'm Jackie. I'm Courtney. Something we've been thinking about is fiascos. Oh, and reading about. Reading about fiascos. There have been a lot of fiascos in the news lately from some very high profile, very large companies Mm -hmm. that shall not be named on Mm -hmm. the Shotcast. And we won't name them because we don't need to comment directly on the particular fiascos of these organizations. And they are organizations, plural. This happens, right? We know this. We read the news. Um, Things don't always go as planned. So we're not going to comment directly on any of the cases in the news because, frankly, there's always more complexity behind the headlines and, you know, we don't we don't have all that, you know, context, so we'll just stay out of that. However, we do notice that there is a pattern, a trend, if you will, that has some very practical applications, and that's what we talk about here on this shotcast. We talk about... I can hardly wait. Keeping it reels. Keeping it reels. So... The practical application aspect of these is the challenge of getting work done in really large, complex organizations. Or They don't have to be large, actually. Mm-mm. You don't have to be large to be complex. Um, so these really complex organizations, which often means that you're having to deal with top-down, corporate-knows-best cultures. Yeah, say that again slower. I almost don't want to because it just really brings the room down. Really? <laughs> I'll say it, delightfully fun energy. <laughs> corporate knows best. Uh, yes. Ah, these top-down corporate knows best cultures. And we've been thinking about um, what do we do with that? Because there's a lot of people who are working in those kinds of places, Courtney. Yes, there are. And it's it's tough to navigate, right? It's hard to know where you fit, how you get work done. Um, and so we have a few tips, I guess, of how do you bring meaning to your work in an environment where you don't get to make all the decisions. Um, Sometimes decisions even take a long time, everything isn't defined. And so the first kind of tip, I guess, would be whatever, whatever you're working, whatever your structures are, whatever your constraints are. And let's face it, regardless of where you're working, if you're working at all, you're facing some constraints. Um, So our first like maybe tip is to be a human in it. Mm, I love that. Just be a human in it, figure out how to connect with people? How do you take each opportunity you have and day that you have to let someone else feel valued and cared about? Like, I don't care what your org structure is, who your boss is, what your task list is. If every single person came in and said, I'm going to be a human in this Hmm. and connect to someone else and help them feel valued and cared about, it can feel better for you. Wow. It's fun when you get to do that. And obviously for the person that you're reaching out to help. Uh, that's the first one. Um, second one is figure out how to put your work in the world. As human beings, we have a hard wired need to make a difference and add value. And so figure out what your world is. Your world does not have to be the whole company, the whole enterprise, the whole department. Define your world. Who are your customers? Who are your, where are your products? Who's your team? Define your world and make a difference in that. Yeah, I love that. Um, so a couple of really great tips of just be a human. Just be a human in that environment. Um, We can't always control these really large, complex organizations. They're going to do what they're going to do. Um, And if you work in one of those places, just find a way to be human in that and get your work into the world every day. I'd like to add to that, if I can, Courtney, um, a a tip for those who sit in those corporate roles, um, because we are not here to suggest that those are uh, malicious people sitting Mm. in those roles. As a matter of fact... We've been in those roles. I spent, I think, probably most of my career in one of those roles. And so I'd like to share with you a way I thought about being in sort of this corporate uh, position. And that is to remember that your organization is too complex for you to just sit at your desk and, and, and run it you know, and add, add, you know, programming or add value just from your desk, what we say, like running the organization by remote control. Um, it's, it's way too complex to do that. Your job, and here's the tip, is to figure out who your friends are. Get friends, I'm going to say it this way, like get friends in the factory, 
Uh, maybe you you're, you don't work in a place that has factories. Maybe it's just more service oriented. But get fr- friends on the front line of where that service is happening. If they're building product or if they're serving customers, get to those people. Look at your calendar. Who are you meeting with? Who do you know? How do you get information about what's really happening in your organization so that you don't drift? Because it's easy to drift when you're sitting, you know, in a, in a, in a removed. Um, you know, role from the front line of your organization. So you have to be really deliberate about that. Yeah, I love that. And it's a choice every day. So here's probably the last tip or advice like these, whatever your job is, simple organization, complex organization, tough day, bad day, whatever. Um, When we do our coaching, we spend, I don't know, almost every coaching conversation comes back to a theme, Jackie, it's somebody who said it, wrote it, Stay in peace, leave in joy, but there's no third option. So if you are working in one of these organizations and it is tough and mm-hmm. you're struggling, it is your choice to stay there and find joy in it. Make a difference. Help Find people to help and find goodness there. And if you can't, then find a way to leave in peace. That's right. I love that. It was Cy Wakeman who said that. I almost said that, but then I didn't want to get it wrong on the radio. (laughs) It was Cy Wakeman. And I think it's a really great way to close this episode, which is to remember that you always have a choice. You always have a choice. Um, Yeah, stay in joy, leave in peace, no third option. All right, that's all we have for now. Um, But we always have much more to say. If you want more, drop us a line at slingshot25.com. Until next time. 